Good morning. Welcome to another beautiful day off the grid. Today we're going to calculate what size battery our house needs to keep the lights on. And we're going to do that by putting together what we already know about batteries and about the amount of energy our house requires. Let's start with what we know. We know that our house requires 1,520 watt hours of electricity a day. Karen showed us how to calculate this in our last episode. We also know from an earlier episode that batteries are measured in amps, not in watts. And we also know they need to be recharged after they've been discharged about 50%. Now, we have a problem. We're talking about watts here, and we're talking about amps here. So our first step is to convert the watts to amps, so we're talking the same language when we try to figure out what size battery we need. Now we do this using something called Ohm's Law. Sort of a complicated looking equation. If you want to know more about it, look it up on the web. But we're going to use it this way. It says that if you divide watts by volts, you get amps. Now, this is where we need to be careful. Now, our cabin is wired for 120 volts. So we could come out here and we could take our 1,520 watts that we need and divide it by 120 volts. And we come up with 12.6 amps. But that would be a mistake because we have to, the denominator of this equation has to be the source of our electricity. And the source of our electricity is a bank of 24 volt batteries. So what we need to do is take our 1520 watts, divide it by the 24 volts that are in our battery bank, and you come up with about 64 amps. That's how many amps our battery bank has to deliver every day to meet the energy requirements of our house. Now let's turn our attention to batteries. We've learned that batteries are rated in terms of capacity, which is how many amps they can discharge over a 24-hour period. We also learned that you need to recharge a battery when it's about 50% discharge to keep the battery healthy and prolong its life. So that means if we want to get 64 amps out of our battery, we're going to need a battery that is at least, say, 130 amp hours. So that's it. Voila! we solved the problem. We can keep the lights on in our house with a 130 amp hour battery. Not quite. Because if all you have is a 130 amp hour battery, after 24 hours when you get up in the morning, that battery needs to be recharged. And you're going to have to recharge it every day after that. It's not a very good strategy if you've got snow on your solar panels. So I think we need a wee bit more battery capacity and maybe some other choices. So while we've answered the question, what's the minimum size battery capacity you need to keep the lights on? We haven't told you how many more batteries you need for some breathing room. And for that, you're going to have to wait for our next episode, where we're going to talk about how many more batteries you might want and give you four other options for giving you more breathing room for your off-site, off-grid cabin. Now before you go, and while you're watching all the little logos for subscribe and tune in to our next show, I want to ask you a question. You hear that humming sound? You heard it all through the whole video? Well, I've got to explain. Follow me. You hear that noise? You may even have trouble hearing me. This is what you're hearing. It's our micro hydro unit. 
another episode you might want to check out.